up close and personal today. Good morning. Good morning. We're a little close up today. It seems weird a little bit. A little but... bit. Um, I know we're wearing almost the same thing, but we... Uh... I got different shorts on. Yeah, I got the same. Those are your dedicated... Sleep shorts. Yeah. They are. Um, oh, waking up. That moon looks cool. You look cool. Tell me, you guys, that mustache is just... Guys, y'all want to know what she said this morning? <laughs> Which one? I'm Which wor one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how much BS she be spewing already this what? morning. She on one. Never. What? Never. Mm. Um, I was being sweet. Rub it on my baby's back. You did. And I appreciate that. Yeah. It's a rare occasion. And I was a big spoon. No, I wouldn't say big spoon because that's not spooning. I mean, we weren't like, with our legs, weren't, we weren't like molded, but I was, I had, you were facing that way. I, I felt over. like we were this far apart and you rubbed my back. Well, no, I spooned you. And what? then. Was I awake? You kind of rubbed my hand a little bit. I rubbed your belly because I heard it rumbling. Was I awake? This was before I like started rubbing your back. So I don't know if you were Oh, awake then, yeah, I don't remember that. Oh, so she's making this up. No. Yeah, she always, I did this, but you must have been asleep. Women are, man. <laughs> no. Y'all think, think we naive? Baby, you think us men are naive? I was a big spoon, and I rubbed your belly because it was making noises, and then I scratched your back. I remember the back. Yeah. I remember you like wearing dirty glasses. <laughs> she's cute in glasses, but man, she's smudgy. I think that's just a metaphor for my life. Pretty much. Um, uh, anyways, if you guys can't tell, it's chilly out here. Um, you didn't tell him what I said. She said, I said baby. baby, you want me to give him a coffee? And I was like, dang, I woke up, she's rubbing my back, she wants to make coffee, like, she just, she take care of her man this morning. And I said, yeah, baby, that'd be great. And she says, I was really hoping you'd get up and do it. <laughs> how many I didn't you say went, it like that. I that's how it came off. I said, I was hoping you would. Yeah. So... <laughs> She was only rubbing my back, so I would get up. And she only offered to make coffee, so I would get up. Because normally, I do. Well, but I was testing your love. Well, <laughs> your love was failing because you did it all as a lie. Y'all women out there, mm. if it wasn't for coffee, we couldn't deal with y'all. Wait, if it wasn't for vodka, you couldn't deal with me? <laughs> Big head. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a running joke by now if you guys don't know about vodka. Yeah. Me key. Um, but yeah, yesterday, some crazy stuff went down. Um, you it guys, was the weirdest day. Yeah. Um, you guys will, if you want, to watch The Crocker Life. Yeah. Um, we had a snack crate that was going to come out today. Yeah. But things were happening yesterday. That was like, I, this video needs to come out. It was strange. Um, it was really strange. But amazing. Yeah, and, it, and we're not talking about what you guys saw if you are in Jared's live chat. Yeah. Um, we're talking about something totally different. Um, it, it was, what a day. Uh, I'll say, I was having a weird day, I guess, just my own my own element. Like, mm -hmm. my hand's been giving me... You're a little grumpy. Maybe if you woke up and actually made me <laughs> coffee, I wouldn't be grumpy. Maybe. I wasn't grumpy. I was just in a very... It was just a... Just one of those days, you know? Um, yeah. Don't sing it. I'm not. Okay. I did... I did get bit last night. By the love bug. <laughs> um, but yeah. Sorry, I interrupted. What were you saying? Yesterday was a weird day. It was, but uh, yeah, just watch the Crocker Life videos. Um, you guys will see on there. Um, I, 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 we will talk about some comments. 
but I do think it is funny when we get the comments like, you're only getting on here to promote your other channel, so we'd have to go watch that to know what's going on on the other channel. And it's like, mm. no, we just think something really cool happened yesterday, and we filmed it, and it's on that channel. We want y'all guys to see it. No, man. Dana's they, got some yeah. stuff on her. We don't know what Bandit. you got into last night. You got into some nasty books, but you got to go read them over there. Bandit. Some nope, nasty books. Nope, nope. Just don't be touching. It looks like she has like the symbol nope. of the mocking jay on her back now. Yeah. I don't know what she got into. Don't whistle because you can come over here. <laughs> she looked at me when I did this, she knows. Well, she your problem now. You're the symbol of hope. <laughs> go over there. Man, go read some books. Go read Hunger Games. She y'all know we normally let her come up here. But she got But yeah, something Tell me that's not a I mean jay. it's it's a very strange thing on her back i don't know what it is but um we did read through the comments uh about yesterday's video that's what i'm trying to do before we do like a coffee for cockers so, and like answer questions stuff like that too um so it's not just just talking yeah um a little bit more engagement yeah i, I mean go. we do read y'all's comments um but just before yeah, so it's fresh in the mind. Yeah. So what did you read? Uh, so when we were talking yesterday about you, my baby needing a studio, movie studio, um, and like carport, stuff like that. There were people that volunteered to help build, right? Yeah. Come on. I don't know if you saw Jared's live, what is out here. You would still like to come <laughs> post that. Uh, yeah. But um, a lot of people said get in shipping container. Mm-hmm. Um, Which makes sense. Yeah. They are pricey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then, too, to, is if we were going to do the shed, that's why I said the shed, uh, they eventually, like, convert it again. But once we get, like, the barn medium and have studio and stuff over there. Yeah, a little while from now. Uh, the shipping container to convert, I don't know. We're kind of leery about that after talking to the people that... That do it professionally. Yeah. Um, you can do it, and clearly, I know, Life Uncontained. Mm -hmm. Y'all should watch Life Uncontained. First off, their shipping Who's containers that? are cut in half. <laughs> so they're oh, yeah. wide open. They're not fully sealed. Um, but when they're fully sealed like that, and then you start uh, spray foam insulation, all that, it holds the moisture in, and then mm -hmm. it will just drip. Yeah. And it would just be water everywhere. And even sometimes... Um, you have to have an insane humidifier. I don't even know if that would do. Yeah, so a lot of times, too, like if you get it, because like Matt Payne, my buddy, uh, he's got one. If you leave it closed most of the time, you're all right. Mm -hmm. And it's just as is. But so if once you're... you open it and in and out. When you're in and out, in and out, and you're getting that fresh air in and stuff like that, it'll start to just sweat. And I remember... When we had talked about this a while back. Um, That's what we were wanting to do originally. originally. Like we weren't going to build from the ground up. No. We were going to do a container. We even we went and looked. Me, you, and Jared. I didn't Oh, go. I guess me and Jared went. Yeah. And we looked. and Because uh, Jared was real interested in it as well. And the guy was just like, man, they're going to sweat. And then a lot of y'all, um, I think even maybe it was that video or some videos we talked about. They said that uh, they work for a company and they have all their stuff in there. And every time they go in there, there's just like an inch of water in the bottom. Yeah. So that's that's not what we want to do. Um, um, as far as just like long-term storage, great. My my grandma, um, she has stuff like that. And I remember... Because I guess we wouldn't be getting in it. Yeah. Out of it if, it was, if it was straight, just storage, straight storage, then 100% perfect. Because, I mean, you, you couldn't get better than that. Yeah. In my opinion, for And storage. then, like, I feel like it would be harder for, like, mice and everything to get yeah, in there. Yeah, that's basically, yeah. Yeah. Um, another thing was to move the camper by the tiny house and then build a carport over there, which... Originally, we had the camper over yeah. there. And that is a great idea because it's, like, okay, carport over there, where we'll be, the, the... Yeah, right there. But only thing is, nothing is level here. Mm -hmm. um, so, we would have to put, like, gravel down and do like that and... Um, our, I just don't want to mess with the landscape over yes. there. Like, have a gravel pad. So, originally, our very first very first thing we ever talked about whenever we saw that spot for the tiny house, uh, straight out of her mouth, she said, 
if we can keep the landscape as natural as possible, I'd love that. Mm -hmm. And that was word for word exactly what you said. I didn't say that. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly word for word. <laughs> I don't word, know. But she did. Do you remember saying, though, that you wanted it to be as natural as possible and I all that? I don't remember saying it, but, like, I know that's what I want. Yeah, so, so. because we even just the other day... You were like, I wish we could just put the uh, camper behind the tiny house. And I was like, we could, but we're going to have to do a lot of work to the ground because it's not level. And at that point, you start messing up, like, the landscape of it. Yeah. And so Yeah, and just, like, don't want, like, the gravel pad over there just yeah. to mess it up. I don't know. Because we have a vision for the landscape over there. And it, it, yeah, in other it, words, that would be genius and every, it would solve the problem besides yeah. the studio. Yeah, but, but that yeah. would solve... I mean, the generator would be close. Once we had the power, the power would be close. Yeah, just, uh, just everything. We get it, and that's a, a genius idea. It's just we don't want to mess the landscaping up. Um, yeah. Ruth, you got to stay over there. No, 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 Except no, let me no, smile. no. There you go. <laughs> Did you guys see him? He's right there. <laughs> I'm trying to keep him out from right here just because all the other dogs will start going crazy. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, so we're trying to figure out the best option where we're at now. It's good, but we do need to redo the pad. The dogs have absolutely destroyed it. <laughs> they um, have. And then now, okay, go by after all this, I just, I try not to think about it, but I'm thinking, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it out. <laughs> yeah. So whenever we first... <laughs> When we first got it over here, I told Danielle, I said, you know, we could get it in, but this won't be a place where it's just like in and out, in and yeah. out. So we were able to get it in and everything. Um, and as of right now, we have to live in it. Um, mm -hmm. Later on, we definitely would like a, a place that we could park it and then go travel, go mm -hmm. go to events and stuff. Um, you know, yeah. the pains and Paragon and cold beer, you know. Uh, we know people that have campers that like to go places. We yeah. would love to utilize it. Um, but eventually, we're going to want this sucker in a shop so it stays good. good. Um, or at least under a permanent carport or something yeah. in the future where the weather won't just beat the roof up and stuff. Uh, we just don't want to build that permanent structure right now because it's probably not going to be right, right here in this here. area. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, so genius idea of putting it by the tiny house, get mm -hmm. it, totally makes sense. We just don't want to kill the landscape. Um, yeah. so that's where we're at with that. See, there's always great ideas. Yeah. But then. There's just a reason behind we didn't do it. Yeah. Um, uh, so, I don't know, that's where we're at. Yeah. Um, as far as power goes, um, I know some of y'all, you know, I know oh. a lot of y'all have been asking and stuff. Yeah. Um, it, it's a tricky situation. Um, I'll, I'll go into this, but very little. Um, not too much. Should I not? You gave that. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well. Uh, we had the guy come out, the engineer. Oh, yeah. And uh, he looked at everything. And a uh, very nice dude. I've talked to him multiple times on the phone now. Um, he was very nice to us, trying to find the best route, the yeah. best way to do it, to save some money, this and that. And uh, it does help that this is a permanent residence and not just a uh, hunting. hunting, you know, land or a vacation place or whatever. So they're willing to work with us. Um, he said most people, almost 99% of people make this mistake. They mm -hmm. buy property with power poles on it and they have no idea that the power poles are owned by different people so that, no all, idea. all the power poles on this property we can't use no. um, it is owned by a different electric thing yeah that we cannot touch mm -hmm. um, we can't do anything with we might Which be able is, to take them down as well maybe we just need to see if they're active yeah so he he says he's pretty positive they have not been active for years and years and years. Because, I don't know if you guys see in the background, we're filled, like, so by the Pygdominium, yeah. there's, I guess not by it, across the way, um, there is 
those lines and, and they're it, low it's pretty low so you could probably those. walk you could probably walk up and touch them if you really wanted especially on the tractor and that's say, that's not safe yeah um i personally don't think they're active just because the box over there don't look good and i do have a, a meter a little volt meter or whatever oh, i forgot you got that and i did it to the front one and that wasn't there was no power and then there's I don't remember if I checked that one or not, but and then it doesn't even look like that's like has anything in there, like or, yeah. So I don't know. Um, and and the guy, I mean, it's what he does for a living, and he knows all of it around here. And he mm -hmm. said he's pretty positive they haven't been active for like a long time. Yeah. Um. So, uh, as of right now, we have to run power from pretty far away. Yeah. To get here. Um, and it's going to have to involve the neighbors. Yeah. Um, what is it called? What? What we need? An yeah. easement? An easement. Yeah. So, a utility easement. Um, there's a couple different... There's options. Yeah, we have we options. do it. <laughs> but they all involve neighbors. Yeah. The best one would be going to... Uh, on the other side, but those people are just hunting. Yeah, they're, they're just, just there for hunting. For hunting, and we don't. But we have don't have their, their number. We don't have their contact info. Now, the guy that's just for hunting on the other side of us that we know, we've met, we have his number. He wants power as well. So we can go from that side. But we have to go from the neighbor before that mm -hmm. um, to get power over here. Which um, my phone's about to die, five percent. So, oh. um, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but when you're in the country. And it's acres and acres, and you're going to have to cut their trees down. That's when it becomes a big deal. Yeah. So, we'll leave you guys on that. My phone's about to die. Um, we are in the process of figuring that out and mm -hmm. trying to talk to the neighbors in the best way so we don't mess up their land as much. Yeah. We get it. If, someone, uh, if our neighbors needed um, power, you'd be on the fence about it. would be like, Ugh, you're going to chop down those trees? I know yeah. you need power, but you got to mess our land up a little bit. So, uh, we understand, and it's not a conversation you want to have with your neighbors yeah. but i think they will understand every neighbor we've met out here has been amazing, amazing. so that's where we're at um but yeah <laughs> coffee with the grockers look at that Ooh, another episode yep all right guys we'll catch you on the next my baby looks cute